All right, guys, here we are rolling into a third frame by frame flipping them project of a nice hot cup of coffee. And so what we're going to get into in this assignment is going through yet again, a couple frame by frame methods of animating steam coming off a cup of joe. So we'll go over how to uh, draw a cup a mug and how to animate steam coming off of it and so going ahead and logging into flipping them like you have in the past we'll start with our pencil tool we're gonna use kind of like a lighter color to draw your outlines first so choose whatever color you feel like uh, for drawing the outline start with kind of like a curve for the back of the cup and then uh, do another curve underneath it for the inside of the cup. Oops, I skipped a little bit there. And then what we'll do from there is bring these lines straight down. So this is gonna come straight down. Uh, this line is going to come straight down, but just a little bit, okay? And we can erase and clean up stuff later on. Now what I'm gonna do is the handle. So the handle curve is gonna kinda start here, go around, touch that curve and then I'm going to come all the way back in uh, do a little curve on the inside it's kind of like a backwards letter C remember command Z or control Z is your friend here I'm going to do another line for this part of the mug which kind of goes behind it right there continue it straight down and it's really important that you try and make your lines connect in this program. We do not have any type of uh, fill in the gaps type option here. And then we need to do a curve for the bottom of the cup. So let's give this a quick examination. I'm gonna fill this, and like I was saying, I went with a lighter color for the fill, uh, or for the outline. I'm gonna go with a darker color for the fill um, and see how that works out. Cool, looks like it fills a-okay. Uh, I was pretty careful making sure my lines were closed because in the past when I was working on this, um, it did not work very well the first time. So don't be surprised if you got some issues. Maybe you need to go back and close some lines. I just drew over that little kind of messy part of that line. Uh, otherwise though, this is pretty nice and smooth. Don't worry about the rockiness of the shape. We're just making GIFs here. Working on some frame by frame style animations. Um, so simple stuff. We're gonna take our paint bucket, uh, go ahead and click on your color picker paint palette, and we gotta find a brown. Where do we find brown? I don't see brown in here. Well, it's kind of just an offshoot of orange. So if we add black to orange, we would get a brown color. And so that's where it's hiding, it is right in there. Uh, go ahead and click off the side. With my paint bucket, I'm going to fill in the top part of the mug. Now with my paper, I'm actually going to add a little background action on my paper. I'm uh, going to take the pencil, going to make the color as uh, the pencil size as big as possible. Uh, I'm going to take like an orangey color. You can pick any color you want. And I'm just going to kind of do like a sort of box that kind of goes off the edges. That's kind of like the table. And then I can just fill it in that color. You might notice that there's a little like little dotted line around the edges. If you click that, it'll fill it in too. Sometimes it doesn't quite fill it all the way. It just leaves like a mark kind of along the edge. Anyways, but now this part, uh, I just want to choose a different color, maybe green. Let's see, and that works. Whoa, it's weird, it's the same green as the like website is. So that was weird. Change that green again, and now I'm good. So I got kind of like a table and um, I do kind of want to add like maybe a little bit of shadow. And I noticed that this tool here works in an interesting way. I wish these had names that popped up. Don't know what to call it, but the yellow one looks like a highlighter. Uh, we're gonna make kind of like a little shadow action going on here. Um, and so, oh, maybe that wasn't the one I was thinking. Control Z. Let's see, maybe it was this one. Let's try this. No, that one just seems to paint normal too. Oh, you know what? Roller. Uh, see the roller does something interesting like why does the roller come out that color when I have this color selected so anyways um, Not oh see and then when you kind of half go over it, it kind of makes it a little like transparent almost So that was kind of interesting. Um, I'm gonna undo all that because I don't really like it 
but um, what I'm gonna do is do just kind of like a darker orange shade here and probably just use my pencil tool, just like really straight up normal stuff. Um, cool, so yeah, just like a cast shadow sort of area that comes off your mug, just kind of adds to the GIF, if you will. And now let's actually do the animating. Okay, so now that we've got him drawn, we wanna take the white uh, color or gray color take a thin pencil line and uh, we're gonna start to animate this so let's put one more layer in here um, if I click on this cup layer I can add a new layer up and this what I'm gonna put on here is the steam on this layer so I'm gonna just kind of like go with lines like this but uh, just like we did in our name I'm gonna do them small so like just like a wave and then I'm gonna click new and then I'm gonna start kind of like a new one and add to this one and then I'm going to click a new and then I'm going to start a third one and also kind of add to the other two and then I click a new one and I can do another one and add to the other uh, three okay and then another new one and now I'm going to add to this fourth one yeah, add a little bit to these two but this first one I'm going to start to erase. So now I'm going to erase a little bit of the bottom of the third one. Add a new frame and I'm going to erase a little bit of, of the bottom of all of them. So actually for this you could uh, bump the size of your eraser up and probably make it easier. Uh, click another new frame here and I'm going to erase just kind of like at a diagonal line all of them and then click one more time and erase all of them kind of in a diagonal line erase them all one more time let's see actually one one last time and make these all just kind of erase disappear all right so there we go 10 frames of happiness in a cup look at that nice little steaming cup of joe um, let's go ahead and save this just like we have done all of our other assignments thus far. Hit that save button. We will call this Cup O Joe, or if you made cocoa or whatever you like to drink, tea, maybe um, whatever you can imagine. Uh, you can put it into this uh, drawing. It doesn't have to be the same as mine. Uh, if you want to make it public, make it public. Hit upload. Tell it if you're a bot. And then, wait a minute, let it upload. And then, last step, as always, is to click that GIF icon that's underneath your cup of joe, and then right click or alt click and save this to your Google Drive so you may turn it in on Google Classroom. I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson today, a little frame by frame animation action to try and get us keeping on trucking with distance learning here. So hope you have lots of luck and have fun getting creative with your own work.